Going through a spiritual awakening is not always easy because as you're awakening spiritually, you may feel quite overwhelmed, challenged, frustrated, and sometimes it can even be quite painful internally, externally, and on so many levels that make you wonder, why are you going through this? How can you best cope with what you're experiencing? And most of all, it makes it very challenging if no one really around you understands what you're experiencing because as you're going through your spiritual awakening, you may have realized that you're all of a sudden you're feeling so much that you don't even really know how to make sense of it all. And if this is you, then this video is for you because I want to share with you six powerful tips that can really help you cope with your spiritual awakening, with what you're experiencing as you're going through your, your spiritual awakening. So you can really embrace this because I truly believe that spiritual awakenings are happening for our highest and greatest good. Really, they're happening to, so we can awaken, so we can really find our path. So if you find yourself that right now, or maybe it's been going on for some time that you are on your spiritual awakening journey, I truly believe this is an exciting journey to be on. But like I mentioned, there are also these side effects, these symptoms that come with a spiritual awakening, which can make it very, very challenging. So stay tuned because in this video, I want to share some tips with you so you can really make the most of it, so you can really cope with it without being overwhelmed by your spiritual awakening. So stay tuned. Hello there beautiful soul. In case you don't know me, my name is Kay Sanders. I'm a transformational coach and divine messenger here to assist awakening souls to really awaken to their power within so they can create more success, abundance and freedom in their life all making a bigger impact in the world. Now, if this is you, if you're on your spiritual awakening journey, and if you are looking for some guidance, for some help, then please be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I release new content. But now going back to what I was just saying, now spiritual awakenings, I truly believe that they're happening for our highest and greatest good because we are meant to awaken. This is really our, our true life purpose in every lifetime is for us to awaken, to find out who are we really deep within. Not the self that you're looking at in the mirror every single day that you've known all your life, but the self that's deep within, your divine self, your spiritual self, the self that doesn't believe in lack and limitation, all the stuff that we have learned growing up but when we are going through a spiritual awakening and usually something happens that really kickstarts that spiritual awakening and you may are on this journey for quite some time now or maybe you're just starting out now a lot of people are being awoken now we are being activated to also ascend even more because with everything that's going on but like I said, there are also some symptoms that are not so nice. So they're not so easy to deal with. And today I really want to share those six practical, easy and powerful tips with you so you can start coping better with your spiritual awakening symptoms because you know at times they can maybe leave you really like wondering is the world going to end i mean the world doesn't make sense nothing makes sense no more and it's just very very overwhelming so if that's really you then please stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this because it is to your highest and greatest good if you have ever wondered why you're going through this just just know that it is happening to your highest and greatest good that you do have a very important mission in this lifetime and your spiritual awakening will help you really step into that so let me share those six tips with you so you can start embracing your journey now the first one that i want to share with you is journal because when you journal about your experience, you can also write down any negative things. So basically, as you're writing in your journal and you're t writing about your experience, you can also put the intention behind to release any negative charge. Because you don't want to hold on to all the negative feelings. And if you don't have anyone to talk about it, and even if you do have someone to talk about, it, they may not allow you to release whatever is bothering you, but they may just try to make it more maybe they try to give you advice and tips that are really not really serving you so when you start journaling on a daily basis now it's it's important that you not just focus on the negative but also write down all the amazing things because as you're awakening spiritually you are going to experience also some really mind-blowing experiences I cannot tell you all the things that I have experienced on my spiritual awakening journey that when I think about it now, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. 
This is so exciting. The things that you start to see and experience, maybe feel that didn't you would have never thought you would ever experience before. So by recording your journey, then you can also kind of look back and realize, man, I have come very far. So especially if you're having a bad day, then you can look back over your notes and maybe you have experienced something similar before and you have written down how did you cope with it. So you can always learn from that as well. But journaling is really powerful because like I said, it also gives you an outlet to release the negative charge. Because as you're writing about any negative feeling, you can then also put the intention behind it to as you're writing the words, you're releasing it. And I mean, your journal is not going to back talk to you or trying to give you advice or whatnot, right? It, it's really that outlet that gives you the room to just vent, to just let it all out. So journaling is really a powerful tool that can help you on this journey. Now, the second tip is find like-minded people. Because as you are on your spiritual awakening journey, and most likely your family, your friends, they're probably not on the same path as you are. Not everyone awakens at the same time. So if you don't have anyone in your, in your family or even friends that are on this journey with you, it can make it feel very, very lonely. So I suggest find like-minded people. You can go on Meetup and see if there are some groups there. They're also meeting online. You can go into Facebook groups. But here, I just want to caution you that when you do look for people, like-minded people, don't f go with the people that are always negative. Like I've been in Facebook groups before where they were very, very negative. They were just really talking negatively. You don't want to do that because you want to embrace this journey. And if you're around people that are always negative, it's only going to pull you down. So I suggest find people that are on the same path as you, that are also looking to move forward rather than looking to be dragged down by what they're experiencing. So finding like-minded people will make this journey so much easier because then you also have someone to talk to. If you do have a bad day, you can maybe call them up and say, look, you know, I'm going through this. Do you have some tips? So you have some advice. Now I have bugged my mentor many times because there were certain things that I just didn't understand what I was feeling, what I was experiencing. And if I wouldn't have had anyone to talk to, I probably would have think, thought that I'm losing my mind because it was just so intense. And also it makes it, it's kind of nice to realize that you're not alone in this. There are other people that are also experiencing similar things different things and you guys can just support each other. It's really about creating that support system for you so you can really continue on this journey. Because like I said, this is really the most important journey that you could ever be on. And you don't want to go this journey on your own. So allow yourself to find some like-minded people to co connect, to support each other, really build that strong support system. Then tip number three is read books. Uh, find some books on Amazon or go somewhere where you can look for some certain books or even courses. There are courses around spiritual awakenings, around person development, spiritual growth, angels. I mean, you name it, numerology, astrology, whatever, whatever you feel called to in what, whatever direction you feel called to go into, allow yourself to do that. Because whenever you're looking at certain books and one in particular just stands out like, Ooh, that sounds interesting. That is so telling you that, Hey, this is the one you need to read right now. So allow yourself to read some books about spiritual awakening, about the metaphysical things, the esoteric things. That would also give you a better understanding of what's going on. Also, maybe reading some books about light workers, about empath and those type of things, because us empath, we feel a lot. And if you don't know how to best cope with that, it makes it also very challenging as well. So find yourself some books or do some courses or whatnot something that can really help you expand your knowledge around the topic so that also will then help you because as you're experiencing certain things like for the longest time i didn't know that mercury retrograde has an effect on me or new moons and full moons now i do do videos around the five key things you need to know about the new moon or full moon but quite honestly i don't like the moons because they're very, having a very very harsh effect on me but I didn't know that at first until I started reading on it. So when you educate yourself about certain things, why you may feel what you feel, it then makes it also easier to then cope with it, to understand, and, ah, okay, it's just Mercury retrograde. You know, that's why I feel the way I feel. It just makes it so much easier. But then also 
And this is the exciting part. As you are then educating yourself, then you may come across a certain modality or maybe you're reading about something that then is part of your path. So educating yourself around this topic will then also help you find your path. So that's very exciting. So if you're not quite sure what your what your mission is in life, what you're here to do, what would or what would really bring you that deep inner fulfillment, start reading those books. Start educating yourself because then it will help you find what you're here to do. Because then you will feel that inner resonance. Of, oh my God, this is it. This is what I need to do. This is so exciting. And then from there, it's just, it, it ripples out. It's like that snowball effect, right? It's going to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And then eventually you're going to realize like, this is it. This is what I'm here to do. Then tip number four is meditate. Meditation is so important to pull yourself back in, to get back to center. So if you can start a daily meditation practice, so powerful. Because when you're meditating, you're really tuning in. The purposes of tuning in, not because usually we're out here, right? We're all in our head and we're in just like life is happening all around us. We're not centered. So as you're going through your spiritual awakening journey, you're going to experience a lot because there's so much happening outside of you and even internally that can leave you overwhelmed. So when you take time each day, ideally, if you can do it in the morning before you even start your day, and then maybe even in the evening before you go down, go to bed, like really winding down, take some time, just tune in. And meditation doesn't have to be very long either. You can just sit here right now close your eyes really tune into your heart and just allow yourself to be still it's about it's the the, the intention behind it is about pulling yourself back to center you can even imagine pulling yourself in from wherever you left yourself like be, you know being the magnet and pulling all your little fragments because during the day you leave parts of yourself everywhere when you talk to someone and that person maybe upsets you or you all of a sudden you get that big project and it's just you you feel like you're being pulled out of you being in, being centered you leave a part of you behind so by coming back to center by pulling yourself in and ideally you want to do this during a meditative practice starting a meditative practice to really pull yourself in then you can also get back to center so having a daily meditation practice is so powerful because you also want to quiet down your mind because as you're going through your spiritual awakening you experience certain things so your ego is going to tell you you're going crazy this is just stupid and all these different things well then you have that kind of like the devil on one side and the angel on the other side right you know the the good and the bad and you want to just be centered because then you can tune in and that's where the truth lays that's where soul can give you the guidance so meditation really really powerful it's also de it's a de-stressor as well it really helps you calm down it is also uplifting as well so really really powerful and if you've never really meditated there's so many different meditative practices out there. You can go on YouTube and type in meditation. There are some 10 minute ones. I would suggest start with a guided one. Guided meditations are often easier because then you have something to focus on, the voice to focus on rather than just listening to music and then your mind can just wander. And then work your way up. Start maybe with five minutes and then 10 minutes and then go longer and then eventually maybe do just the music so you can just be centered. Go with what feels right to you, but allow yourself to gift yourself the time. I'm not saying giving yourself the time, but gifting it because this is a gift to you. This will then help you grow. This will help you then transform from the inside out because everything is happening on the inside. So allow yourself to meditate daily. Then the fifth tip is grounding. I mean, us empath and light workers and highly sensitive, we need grounding because everything that's happening on a collective level can keep us very ungrounded. So if you can have a daily grounding practice, and I have a video I want to invite you to check out as well. It's seven grounding practices for light workers and healers and highly sensitives because we need grounding. It's as simple as that because as we are picking up all these things on a collective level, you know, in our surrounding and even our own stuff, we often are very ungrounded. And that's then when ego comes in like, ha ha, he or she is ungrounded. Let's have some fun with him or her. So 
When you start grounding yourself on a daily basis, that just also helps you to stay centered. So grounding very important, and you can also wash away anything that doesn't need to that doesn't belong to you. So grounding is really powerful. So I highly recommend check out that video about the seven grounding practices to start a daily grounding practice. Really, really important. And then the sixth and final tip is healing. Allow yourself to do a, go on a healing journey, whether it's about learning a modality yourself or then also working with someone because ideally you do want to work with a healer because oftentimes you're too close to your own stuff that you're not even realizing what needs to be released what is holding you back because as you're awakening what happens is that a lot of stuff comes to the surface and all that stuff is coming up in order to be healed and released you got think of it like that you got to make room you got to clear out the old to make room for the new because the spiritual awakening, it's like a rebirthing process. It's like a part of you has to, and I know it sounds bad, but a part of you, the old self has to die in order to be reborn to that newer, more awakened self. So by healing those old wounds, and that can often be inner child work, past experience, even past life experience, past life vows and soul contracts and those type of things that are really affecting you today. Now, if your life is not the way you want it to be, if you're not as abundant, as successful, as happy, as joyful, as healthy, whatever it is, if you're not there yet, that usually has something to do with because there are certain things within you deeply ingrained that needs to be healed and released in order to allow yourself to awaken allow yourself to be abundant happy joyful healthy whatever it is even if you're experiencing physical physical pain because spiritual awakenings can often also cause physical pain because all these negative things that we're experienced they usually are being represented in physical Ill, ailments physical pain and also then maybe even depression and anxiety so by doing this healing by really going this inward and also healing journey you then uncover what needs to be healed and then you can start healing it. so like I said you can either work with a healer or then maybe you also feel guided to do your own healing modality really learn a modality I mean there's so many different ones from shamanic work Reiki energy healing light language what I do working with the Akashic Records I mean the list goes on and on and on and on so by you then also doing the research by reading the books you then may even find something that you really feel drawn to which then also then ripples out into you finding your actual path but doing your own healing is so very important now I also have another video I want to share with you it's a light language activation to really help you on your spiritual path to really clear out some of that that stuff that's really now ready to be released uh, so it makes it easier for you to really spiritually awaken and release whatever is now ready to be released so i highly recommend check that out as well i'll put the links for both of the videos actually in the description below so you can take a look at that so here you go here are the six tips that i really found has helped me the most on my spiritual awakening they're still helping me i still continue doing this on a daily basis to really ground myself to really I also meditate to get back to center and I also do my own healing as well so these are really the, the six most important tips that I found that I really needed to share with you because if you are in your spiritual awakening you are probably also quite challenged at times as well so I really wanted to share this with you to help you make this journey much easier but I want to ask you what are some of the things that you do to really cope with this do you have some sort of a practice do you have some sort of uh, some tools or anything that you like to go to to help you on this journey do me a favor drop it below in the comments let me know and also let everyone else know that is watching this video maybe there's certain things in there that are really working for you that could benefit someone else as well so do me a favor leave a comment below i would greatly appreciate it and also thank you so much for listening thank you so much for being on this journey because like i've mentioned before this is the most exciting journey that you could ever be on and as you are growing and you may have already made some major leaps already you're probably looking back and you're realizing you know what even though it was challenging it was quite an exciting journey and maybe you're really looking forward to how else what else you're going to experience how much more you're going to grow so even the spiritual awakening journeys can be quite overwhelming challenging and even painful at times but they are truly exciting and when you come out on the other side or at least 
further down the road, you're realizing that, you know what, it was well worth it. So I hope you're going to stick with it. And I hope these seven, six tips that I shared with you today are really going to help you move forward. And like I said, check out those videos and also be sure to subscribe to my channel because that's really what I focus on, helping amazing people like you really on their spiritual awakening journey. So thanks so much for tuning in. I will see you again in the next video. Until then, make an amazingly abundant, successful day. Namaste.